You know those pointless selfies you take, the thousands of images that eat up your storage? You can thank the cloud for that. No, there aren't actually vast data centers hovering in the sky. It's a physical data center that could be thousands of miles away from you. And when you think about the billions of people streaming videos, using the internet, even using ChatGPT, all of that space starts to get scarce. And that's why some engineers say we may have to turn to the ocean to store and process our data in the future. Companies like Microsoft are already working on testing a data center that lives completely underwater. Back in 2018, Microsoft sank a data center off the coast of Scotland in a first-of-its-kind experiment. That underwater data center was equal to 864 servers and 27.6 million gigabytes. That's enough storage for nearly 5 million movies and as powerful as several thousand consumer PCs. It also cost Microsoft about $25 million. But let's back up a minute. What exactly is a data center? It's a physical facility that stores any company's digital data. It's full of IT capacity, networking, processing power, and storage. Uh, and that's what our digital economy and our digital lives, you know, are really heavily rely on. You've heard of the big tech data centers, Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud. Those live above ground across the US and around the world. Their growth and usage has exploded over the past decade. Along with taking up space, data centers also take up an extreme amount of energy. Research shows data center energy usage has grown roughly 25% a year on average since 2015. An underwater data center is similar to a land uh, deployed data center, yet it has specific requirements. So such as it needs to withstand the water uh, from the outside, so it needs to be a sealed environment. It has to have some sort of connection to shore in terms of providing the power as well as the network. Um, and that, you know, is, um, you know, it's not a trivial task. The goal eventually is to use renewable energy like offshore wind farms to power these data centers. And the water could just inherently require less energy, a lot of which is used to keep equipment cool. Underwater data centers can use the water's naturally cooler temperatures to prevent overheating. Increased workloads, specifically, for example, around artificial intelligence, requires different heat removal strategies uh, and uh, liquid cooling in its different forms as it comes in, you know, is a, is a good example as to how we can more effectively reduce this heat. Microsoft's experiment took years to complete and it worked. Now other companies are looking at the benefits of data centers underwater. This is especially crucial following the AI boom, which will cause even more storage needs, requiring more and more data. The big question for tech companies, the money. Right now, some estimates show underwater data centers cost about as much as above ground ones. It is very challenging for me to believe that a underwater deployed data center could be as cost effective but experts say something needs to be done. 